Hi guys, Mimichi here, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a quick and easy turban with the option to have a beautiful front top knot. Let's get started. All right guys, so you're going to start with the main piece for your turban. So this measures the circumference of my head minus one inch and then um, this is minus six inches because you don't want it as tall because then you're gonna end up with too much at the top of your turban and you don't want that. So for example, my head circumference is 22 inches. So minus one inch, this is 21 inches. And then 21 inches minus six inches for the height. You're gonna cut one of those. And then the other piece is what we're gonna to use to create that really great knot. Now you have two options. You could wear this turban by itself or um, you can wrap this around to create the knot, which I'll show you how to do at the end of the video. And this is basically cut the width of my fabric uh, folded in half. So the total width of my fabric is 59 inches. So I just folded my fabric in half and I cut. So mine measures 10 inches because when folded and sewn together, I want it to be at least five inches wide and it measures almost 60 inches total length, right? So this is 30 inches, but it's folded in half. You can print out the um, PDF that I have linked in the description box below if you wanna just see the measurements that I'm using. It's just a quick uh, PDF for reference. So once you have both of these pieces cut out, we can start sewing this together. So the first thing we're gonna do is you're gonna grab your main turban piece and you're going to fold it in half and we're just gonna round off the top. So we grab some scissors and you can eyeball this. Trust me, it's really not gonna matter at all uh, once we sew this together if it's not perfect. So I'm just gonna round off the corner. Until I get to nothing. Now it sort of looks like this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create two rows of basting stitches because we're gonna pull this together to create the shape. So we're gonna create two rows of basting stitches, the longest stitch available on your machine as if you were going to gather. So you're going to do two starting at one end, working your way over the top and then down the other side. So I have my machine set to the longest stitch available on my machine, which is 5.0. I'm gonna start at one end and I'm gonna make sure to back stitch. And don't worry too much about seam allowance here because this needs to stretch over your head. So we're just gonna be working within a half inch seam allowance. Do your first row of stitches. Okay, you're not gonna back stitch, you're just gonna lift your needle and pull your thread. Now you're gonna go back and you're going to create another row of gathering stitches just inside of the one that you just made. Okay, so once you have your two rows of gathering stitches, you're just going to pull until we have this pretty tightly gathered. Okay, so we've gathered the entire thing. Now, a quick tip to make this a little easier, if you want to, you can go ahead and press down with your iron over your um, gathering, just so that it lays a little flat if you need to. If you uh, don't feel the need to, that's fine too. Then what you're gonna do is with right sides facing, we're gonna close this together, right? So we're gonna join them at the bottom you're gonna go back to the sewing machine and we're going to stitch this closed. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and close this opening by bringing the gathering stitches together. You can use some pins if you want to hold it in place. We're gonna be using half inch seam allowance. Back stitch at the beginning.
Okay, so once you have closed this, when you turn it right side out, you're gonna see that it has really nice gathers and you can wear this by itself. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do this at the end of the video. Um, we're not gonna worry about the raw edge because we sort of just tuck that in when you place it on your head. But now if you wanna create that really cool sort of knot that you can add to your turban, then you're gonna take your other piece of fabric and you're gonna open it up and with right sides facing each other, you're gonna fold this in half. And we're going to stitch across the short end, then stitch across the long edge. Along the middle somewhere, I'm gonna have you leave just like a one inch opening so we can turn this right side out because we do want both ends to be finished in the event that when you tie your knot, you like for that little center portion to have a little bit of the fabric sort of sticking out, which I like to do, then you wanna make sure that the ends are finished too. So we're gonna stitch using half inch seam allowance along the short ends all the way along the long edge, making sure that along the middle, maybe somewhere you're gonna leave a one inch opening. Okay, I'm using a regular length stitch, so 2.5, I'm gonna back stitch at the beginning. Okay, so I've reached the middle of my tie, so I'm just gonna back stitch, cut my thread, move up about an inch or inch and a half, and then start again. Back stitch, and you're gonna continue the rest of the way down and then across the other end. Okay, once you've stitched this, you're gonna go ahead and turn this right side out. You're gonna use that one inch opening that you left. Go ahead and poke out your corners. Once you turn this right side out, you can go ahead and edge stitch this together to close it, or you can just use um, a hand needle and just slip stitch it close. It's just a very small opening. Now you should have two finished pieces that look like this. Let me go ahead and show you how to wear them. All right, guys, so um, let me show you how to put this on. So what I do is I tuck in about, I don't know, maybe two inches of the raw edge, and then I'm just gonna slip it onto my head and adjust it. Okay, so what I really love about this way of wearing my top knot is that one, I could wear it like this if I wanted to just by itself, and it's super cute and comfortable, and I can wear this all day. Um, one of the things that I really love is that when I buy the um, scarves to do the top knot, sometimes it can be a hassle to get it on quickly. Sometimes the knot isn't tight enough. Sometimes throughout the day it may come um, a little loose. So this way I know that this is going to stay on my head all day. It's really comfortable, especially because it's knit and stretchy. And then if I want to do the top knot, then what I do is I grab my other piece, which you can also use this like as a scarf or just to wrap up your ponytail or to wrap it around maybe your uh, your bun if you have a bun with your hair. So what I do is I grab it in the middle, I bring it to the front and I'm just gonna twist it together. And then I'm just going to wrap it around itself basically and then I pull the front. And just like that, this will stay on my head all day. It's not heavy, right, because it's not a huge scarf. It's just this piece that you sort of faux wrap around your head and then to create this little knot, and it stays there all day. And it's so comfortable to wear. And if you just don't feel like having it, I mean, you could just take it off, or you could also do it to the back. So let me show you that. Basically the same thing except you would then place it on the front of your head and you would do the twisting to the back and then wrap it. And you're basically just wrapping it around itself. So it really just depends on how you wanna wear it. Um, you can then honestly take this off, like I said, and just use this by itself if you want to wrap your head or just make a bow you could do a lot of really different things with this which makes it a whole lot of fun because i can tie it maybe make a little bow 
and now you have two completely different hair options. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave your comments below. I will talk to you next time. If you're not following me already on Instagram, make sure and follow at Mimi G Style. Peace.